Hey guys, Luke here and welcome back to episode 3 of my Swansea City career mode and in this episode, just going to be going over a few transfers uh, to sort of end the transfer window. It will be uh, finished after this episode's episode is completed. But uh, yeah, obviously we've got the three games that we've been doing in the last, well, last episode. The first episode was a preseason, uh, all the preseason games, pretty much the whole preseason. So if you haven't seen that, go back, check it out. Obviously episode two is pretty important as well, in my opinion. Got a fair few key uh, transfers, but uh, speaking of transfers there, Cabral uh, was a center back that we signed. And uh, the center back that we had, the best center back in our side, apart from Williams, is uh, Fernandez. And I just feel he's a good player in terms of, you know, he's 81 rated or whatever, but Actually using him is a whole different story. I uh, didn't feel confident with him at all at the back. And uh, we'd been playing Jordi Gomez there, but we finally got uh, Cabral there. Uh, little did I know, well, I didn't. I knew like we scouted him. He was de decent rating, but I didn't really check his uh, pace or anything. And I didn't notice that his pace was absolutely appalling. So pretty much got another Fernandez uh, on our books. But, uh, you know, just have to try and uh, live with it. Maybe we can deal with Fernandez as well. Who knows? But... At this stage, you know, we're handling ourselves against Man United pretty well. I mean, we've had a pretty poor um, run to start the season, really. I mean, the preseason was pretty good. We had a great preseason, uh, but starting the Premier League, uh, it's just been a whole different level to this preseason game. Obviously, it's a big jump, big jump up from playing, you know, these Mexican sides to uh, playing um, playing proper Premier League sides, especially starting off with Chelsea, Newcastle, and Sunderland. Are they rivals? Uh, well, they're both rivals of each other. Not particularly that good. And the fact that we drew all three of those, uh, sorry, we lost to Chelsea and drew the Sunderland game and Newcastle game after being in commanding positions. Like, we should have won that game. It was late on that they ended up, um, you know, drawing it and eventually, uh, well, yeah, like I said, having a, a drawn result. So, uh, you know, I, was, I wasn't not confident going into... Um, into this game, but I just wasn't sure. Maybe he was uh, hoping to grab a draw, but we end up hitting the lead there. Gabriel, who we brought on as a sub, a super sub there. Um, we end up swapping him for Correa. So uh, it's what I like having, you know, the initial side that we had didn't have a lot of pace. And obviously pace is a pretty important thing on FIFA. It's not the like the sole thing for me on FIFA, um, but at the same time, we just had zero, especially with Gomez up front. And, uh, you know, we, we generally don't want to um, take him off too often. Just due to the fact that, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, against some of these sides, Man United, I don't really know what's the best tactic. Sit back and counter, or uh, I find when I do that, I end up, well, when I expect to sit back and counter, we end up um, playing possession sort of football. But you see right there, we pretty much seal the game. Nathan Dyer, uh, I'm so glad we recorded him from line. He is the winger that we needed. Now, we had AU. We've got AU. He's a pretty solid player. We've got people like Routledge who's solid, you know, sort of solid players. But uh, I feel Routledge is more of a backup. Nathan Dyer, not the best winger by any means, but he's got what we want. He can either come on and be that super sub, or he can um, obviously start the game and rip teams to shreds with his pace. But you see right here, Dyer looking for his second goal. Takes a shot from uh, way out there. And that was just due to the keeper, uh, which was Valdez for this game. Um, he was up. Um, for the corner. See right here, I think it's one matter. Ends up hitting the crossbar and that actually finished the game. Um, that last shot there. So, um, man, you were no match for us. You can see, we only got the two shots on target. You know, we had two shots in general, both on target, both leading to goals. And, I mean, if you're one of those stats people who are like, oh my god, I mean, I've had so many shots and I haven't scored goals or whatever, I think you maybe need to reassess things. Uh, I think it's your finishing. Because uh, we've seen in all the games I've played so far, um, being pretty uh, clinical, I've got to say. We haven't wasted too many opportunities. Um, that's largely due to us trying to sort of pass the ball into the back of the net. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We've been converting converting the chances that we had. We haven't had too many. But, uh, yeah. Now, I just spoke about Cabral being the centre back. Just He's not exactly what we wanted. He's not what we thought he was going to be. And the player that I'm pretty familiar with in terms of... Uh, I know what he has to offer, and that is uh, Dragovic from previous FIFAs. I know he's a pretty solid player, and I know he's got a decent amount of pace. That's what we need, and he's, uh, he's young enough, and I think he might be a signing um, Swansea could make um, in real life. Now, we have thrown in Fernandez there um, to sort of sweeten the deal there. So, 2.5 million with Fernandez. He's going to be on 60,000 a week, which is a bit hefty for Swansea, but, uh, you know, we need to do that to get some of these good players in. Another player you can see here is Carlos Eduardo. I don't know, I don't think this is exactly a realistic sort of signing, but, you know, he's a cheap one. He had less than one year remaining on his contract. And I felt we just needed more variation in our cans. We've got the sort of slow, good passes and that sort of stuff in terms of uh, Shelby and, you know, Sigurdsson and that sort of thing. But we never, we don't really have someone, you know, I, I like using plays like Coutinho and that sort of stuff. So, uh, you know, Eduardo is sort of a, a light version of Coutinho. I would, you know, I've, 
like to compare him to, he's sort of like a shittier version. Um, so to bring him in, I'm not really sure how much game time he's going to be um, getting, but I do feel like he'll get some at least. And uh, you saw quickly there was a few uh, transfers that had happened. I went through uh, all of the, um, the English slides. You'd be able to see in the bottom right hand corner there were uh, a few huge signings. I think Coutinho left. But uh, yeah, coming up to uh, the transfer window, window finishing, took a quick look at uh, all the transfers that we had made. We made a few there. Obviously, we brought in two strikers, brought in um, two centre backs, and I think we record Dyer uh, from alone. And leaving us was uh, Meechu, and I think there was a few other sort of uh, fringe players. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with our squad. We're going through our squad right now. So yeah, Zuccolini was another one who came in in the centre mid just to shore things up. And, you know, I think we've got a pretty balanced sort of squad. We've got some good um, sort of, you know, players who can play in a holding role, sort of shelving that sort of stuff, while being able to attack pretty well as well. Um, so that's nice. Uh, we also got some, you know, decent, uh, you know, CDMs and that sort of stuff. So in terms of formations, we're pretty open to being able to change it. Now you can see here, uh, making the debuts, Drogovic Zuccolini. Now Zuccolini is actually playing in the cam position. I don't know exactly if he's best suited to Cam, but he's got the pace and, you know, he seems to be all right. It says he can play center mid or right mid. I don't really see him as being a uh, winger, but, I mean, it remains to be seen. Maybe he is, but we're giving Gabriel a start here. We are playing with the one striker up top uh, with a Cam. Uh, going back to sort of the default formation, we've been playing with a 4-4-2 for a little bit. Actually, it's not the default one. Uh, we're playing with CDMs, and um, the reason being... Just trying to experiment. Obviously, we haven't been creating a lot of opportunities, and you know, I still do, I'm still pretty early on in my sort of uh, FIFA career. I mean, I haven't played Ultimate Team, I haven't played any other career modes. This is literally like probably my tenth game. Whatever game we're up to here is the amount of game I had played at the time um, on career mode, or just any FIFA in general. So. Um, just have to try and uh, figure out what's best for us and I mean every FIFA I seem to find a different formation that I'm comfortable with and I don't mind um, passing through it this season because uh, it seems dribbling and pace is a bit nerfed so uh, we've got to find those players with uh, good dribbling and i got to say this this game, this game I'm not sure what Barbo's dribbling stats were but he was sort of ripping us apart down that right wing uh, for them and see here Abdi their captain he's causing a bit of damage here for us or for them I should say we're going for a very poor tackle there and they're just going to square it back across there and Abdi the captain he'll end up scoring first goal of the game now we went in for a slide tackle I'm not sure exactly who that was but that was appalling defense just there and we went in for the slide tackle I thought we made enough contact but obviously it's just like just like the player wasn't there I think in real life, they would have sort of changed the direction or whatever to try and get the ball, but this isn't what's going to happen. And Correa, who we brought on off the bench, I believe it was, um, just trying to change things up. We got Gomez obviously just there. I was hoping, well, my mindset was that we could throw in some um, crosses into Gomez, but um, I think crossing isn't exactly the best in this game. But I mean, it's, you can manage with it. You can put in some good crosses, but um, Gomez just doesn't really have too much of an impact uh, off the bench or bench or whatever, but I mean, we nearly got close there, John Joe Shelby in the end had a free kick, which gave me one the free kick anyways, but uh, we couldn't eventually go on with it, and you saw there, Carlos Eduardo came off the bench, and we ended up just staying with that formation, we didn't change it, but pretty much all our new signings didn't have any impact at all that game, so that was pretty frustrating, move on to our next game, which is taking on Evan to Everton, who are in first, they've actually got a pretty good lead, they got a 5 point lead at this stage, uh, the best defensive um, team according to the stats, so I was sort of thinking, shit, like we can't attack anyways, let alone against the top defensive side uh, in the comp, but it is very early on, so are they the actual best defensive side, or are they just taking on some shit teams, who knows, but uh, their side looks pretty pretty decent, they got um, some pretty pacey wingers, and uh, they've got some, uh, you know, just a pretty solid side in general, Lukaku, obviously the one to look out for, and he's on the ball right here, he's got the pace, he's got the strength, so um, Williams and that are going to have a, a pretty tough time, I'd have to think, but we head it back to Fabianski, I don't know why... Um, Tabernu was going off his head just there because I thought it was actually a pretty good play there but I think that was Barkley who uh, lets off a shot there that was a crazy shot well, it wasn't a crazy shot because he put it over but um, you know it was pretty pacey and just uh, you know a f just a bit of a warning there for us and I think that actually might have been Barkley uh, maybe it was Len I don't know who it was who taken those shots but uh, it was just going over um, it was off target which is pretty much what I'm trying to say and uh, they're going to be made to pay here see Correa on the counter takes on Leighton Baines cuts inside Leighton Baines is left clutching at air, they were well, not clutching at air, but just in no man's land, and then Correa, what a finish that was, the top left hand corner, you gotta say that shot seems to be money this FIFA, seems to be the one that uh, goes in most times, so we're looking to uh, keep doing that with Correa, he's got a pretty solid shot, he's got great um, power on his boot, uh, obviously he got the pace, which is 
are pretty nice. So Correa, I think, is our main man for striker with Gabriel as the backup and Gomez being like plan B. But I mean, they've all got a spot on their side. And right here, John Joe Shelby wins the ball, and that is a magical pass there. Correa, can he cut inside? No, he can't. Jagielka does a way better job than what Leighton Baines is. And I suppose there wasn't as much pace, but you see there, Morales just screwing with us there. Colin Morton, uh, he ends up missing everybody. But uh, he's going to fall back to Ross Barkley, the man who I feel is taking on the shots, but it's probably not him. But it ends up falling to Darren Gibson, and he takes a shot. The, more, the former man, you um, center mid, obviously, uh, just... You know, just throws our halftime plans into disarray. I mean, I can't, I don't even know what to say. Like, thinking we're going in at halftime, it just seems to be a common theme for us throwing away leads to very sloppy goals. And uh, I think that's obviously is going to get better the more we play FIFA. And once again, apologies for saying obviously all the time, but just whatever feels like it's just what feels like coming out at the time. But uh, you can see right here, later on in the game, we're going to throw in a ball to Gomez, who's come on. And you see the ball nearly falls to Gomez as well. And uh, we nearly end up picking up a goal here. But we've got another chance. Gomez off the bench, gets it to Correa, lays it off to Key. And Key ends up scoring the goal. And that should be the match winner, in my opinion. We can pretty much just park the bus. You see there, Key, he scores his first goal of the Premier League. And I'm saying Gomez is probably not going to be the number one striker or whatever. But I think he's got a spot in the side for sure. And he's just proven that he came on. And he did make a difference this game. The first game, not so much for this game. He definitely did. Kane actually had a pretty good chance there, and he really should have scored that one. But he didn't, and that's the main thing. And we get a 2-1 victory. That is our first victory of the Premier League season. It's taken, what, four or five games? I think this is the fifth game. So, you know, not, not the ideal start to the season, but we finally got finally got a win. And the best thing is that we weren't losing most of those games. We're getting draws, so we were still getting points out of them. Uh, that was the second best option, obviously. Um, we see Liam Britton here. You motherfucker. My play time. I'm not getting as much pitch time make me happy like I wanted to sell you you knew this was going to happen and you turned it down we had a great offer for you I mean, probably not ever going to get that offer for you again this is the Barini situation for me at Liverpool you will be rotting away in the reserves screw you see ya anyways that's where the video is going to end hope you did enjoy it please leave a like if you did subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter at MrLukeMyT face the page in the description below and I'll see you for my next video bye guys